Minister with Responsibility for Public Utilities, Senator Nolan Cox, was given an official tour of Greenlake's Queen's Park Generation Plant on Thursday, where its new engine was successfully commissioned in September. The Greenleck team, which conducted the guided tour, included Acting General Manager Clive Horston, Chairman of the Board of Directors Dr. Sean Charles, and Plant Generation Manager Dwayne Sinak. The objective of the tour was to bring the Utility Minister up to date on the operations at the plant. Acting General Manager Clive Hostin says the Queen's Park Generation Plant operates 24 hours with a highly dedicated and competent staff. For us at Greenleck, this is where, where all the action takes place. <laughs> Generation of electricity, um, this is our essentially main plant. Okay, we have some smaller engines at, at SGU. Yeah. Altogether, we have around 11 engines. We have six big engines. We're ranging in size from 5 megawatts to 9.5, 9.7, which is the last engine that we, we commissioned in, in September. Um, and we have some smaller engines, mainly Caterpillar units at around 1.2 megawatts. So apart from the, the engines, we also have all the auxiliary equipment, including the electricals. So here, we the generators, basically, they're, they, they, are, they step up our operator at 11 kV. So we have switch gear. We have 11 kV switch gear where all the power goes into, and then it goes to the substation, which is on just on the other side. Senator Cox is satisfied with the work that went into installing the now fully functioning new engine. As government, we, we are committed to to moving forward, we are given some significant commitments uh, towards um, transitioning and, and changing the energy mix, looking at more renewable. And this is something that we have started doing, and we're going to have more discussions in that area going forward. As a person um, with a responsibility to my ministry, I'm very much excited about being part of this process. I think we have an excellent opportunity ahead of us, and we, we could do wonderful things. I'm a, I'm a kind of doer person, a, a, a result-oriented person. I like results, so I think it would be easy for me to fit in here at Grand Lake. So um, that I'm, I'm look forward, looking forward to that as we move forward. Um, but I'm happy um, with how things are progressing. And we want to commend the staff and management for the work they're doing to serve the people of this, this country. Dr. Sean Charles, Greenlake's chairman of the Board of Directors, says he was looking forward to this moment for some time, while at the same time speaking to the positive attitude of staff despite some shortfalls in ensuring that there is a steady and reliable supply of electricity on the island. The meeting here today um, uh, is one that means a lot to myself and, and the board, of course, because um, although the minister is, is fully aware of how electricity works and from generation down to the meter, but seeing it firsthand uh, so, and making decisions uh, on behalf of the company in his capacity as minister is very, very important. And I want to minister thanks very much for being with us today. We are in the transition mode as, uh, as frequently echoed. And um, the board is committed to seeing through the transition. Uh, it's turbulent uh, times right now, uh, both from, uh, as we see from oil prices and, uh, and uh, um, persons having extended period of time at home. And um, we know we challenge a little bit. However, as a company, we will do our best to ensure that uh, this, the, this, the, the, the comfort of the people of Grenada Caricom Pidematnik remains uh, paramount. Dwayne Sinat, Grenex Generation Manager, noted that the generation plant is an extremely active environment that requires full adherence to health and safety protocols. One of the main things uh, in regards to personal protective equipment that we will wear is our hard hats, safety hats. Um, we also need to have our safety glasses, so protection for the eyes. And of course, it's a very noisy environment with the engines running, so we're going to be getting um, air protection as well, air plugs. Um, so those, uh, those PPE uh, need to be worn at all times as we walk through the plant. Um, of course, there are other risks. Uh, it's a high-risk environment. So one thing that we ask from everybody is that you know you don't don't touch anything as we move through because there's a risk um, from you know thermal energy as well. So 
Granted, it's a plant, you know, there's a lot of hot objects, hot pipes and so on. As Utility Minister, Senator Cox says he intends to play a pivotal role in ensuring that the operations at Greenneck remain of a high standard, generating a steady supply of electricity.